tutorials. Today's video, I will show you how to apply a texture map uh, for XGen here and how you can also use the texture map or, or ramp uh, color to coloring all the single uh, XGen hair with the same. So in the first one, we're going to the first one here, we're going to apply one texture for each of the te uh, for each of the uh, hair. And for the second one, we're going to apply an uh, image to apply it for all of uh, the different uh, color that are uh, or different hair that are here. So some of them going to be red, yellow, and so on. So, so here I have just a simple hair. Uh, so we're going to select the ex ex uh, description of it, which is this one. And the important thing is going to the preview output, go to the render and use the render engine do you want to use. In this case, I'm going to use the Arnold 5. So when you are ready, you need to go to high shade and apply the shader do you want to. Uh, so I think uh, you can of course go ahead and use the AI standard hair. But in this case, you can uh, also use the normal uh, surface shader as well. So I just select this one and put this to be zero. That is just a specular. Now we need just create the tech, uh, the map we want. Uh, so in this case, I just creating a simple RAM texture and connect this by middle mouse click and drag it on the color. So now they are connecting and from here I can choose which color I like to add to my ramp. So maybe we starting by uh, yellow and going to be kind of maybe like more greenish, whatever, uh, lightning. And on the top, maybe, I don't know, pink. So that is uh, the color. We want to have it for every single uh, hair there. So we have not applied it. To apply it, we need to select which description we have. So that is the first one. Uh, I'm going to select this and right click on my shader, assign material to select it. And in middle, you can see the color has been applied to it. But of course, we need just make a very quick render to see how it look like. So now you can see we have black, yellow, green, and so on. So that is a very simple one to do this. The next one we want to use uh, actually uh, image to apply the color to different hair. So we need to select the description and just update it so we get this one on also. So we're going to the preview and we using the same things are not render we want to use then we want actually before we going to create a shader for it there are one important thing is you need to know we have the primitive color here but we can also go down and create a custom one so you can just name it whatever name do you want so my color and make sure you using the color and add this. I'm going to hide the, uh, the X-Gen here, but you can see that is a plane we have creating. Uh, so now we need to create a map and just create this. And make sure you turn the texture on and grab it and just make it. So maybe it is hard to see it. I just uh, put this one a bit downer, so we can see it better uh, if I go to the paint tool here we go now it has been updated that is just a simple blank white uh, color we have done uh, we, we don't need to use this we need just to create this node and uh, this node actually if we going there right click on this one you can see here is the image file or the image we have just creating so we need to actually go ahead here and find the the color or the image we want so here it is this image now the are update we need just make sure has been saved and update as well 
But as you can see, nothing happening with the color information. So to apply the color, we need to actually get the name of this, which is my color. We just copy this. And now we are ready to create a new shader for this uh, uh, hair. So we starting again, maybe I use the same AI standard and put this one to be zero. And now we want to apply this, which was the image inside it, to this one. We cannot just connect an image file because it will work like the ramp. So we need to actually create a, a node, which is tap on the keyboard, AI user data color. And here we need to paste the, the name of the custom uh, shader we have just creating. So when we have done it, so we need just a uh, middle mouse click and drag it whatever area it is, but in this case it is color because we want to affect the color. And now has been uh, shader has this image as the color. Now we need to select the description, right click on yeah, it is this. You can also right click on this image and assign it. Make sure that is being changing. Of course, you cannot see any uh, color. Uh, so you need to actually first go to render. And as you can see now, we have getting like pixels, like very cute. And the reason is uh, if we just open this, this has been typed uh, five. We need to actually go ahead and type this to be 100 and accept this, save this and just update this once again and we render it once again. So now you can see we have getting much smooth version of it. So that is a, a two way to create a, a color for Xgen. The first one we can just apply a color and uh, or text or if you want and it will be applied for each of the hair they are inside here and the second one is going to be uh, different color information we're going to give for the different hair by uh, by creating a maps so thanks for watching